Hi, 2D Foundations. So I'm here to tell you a little bit about the planes of the face and why this is going to be an important tool to help you get through your Google Drawing Mosaic. So if you look at how these different images are broken down between the red lines, it turns each part of the shape into, or each part of the face into a recognizable shape. Inside these shapes, let's say if we look at the front view of the face, inside this triangle, you can break that down into other shapes and triangles that you can use to fill in that space. This is a really great way that you can um, follow the shapes that are in the face to help also create the illusion of form. So if you have an image, let's say something like this, that you would like to use for your Google Drawing Mosaic, but you're not sure how to make your spaces across the forehead, you can take one of these planes of the faces by opening the link that's in the Schoology um, folder for today. You're going to click on the image that you want, copy it, go over to your image for your Google Drawing Mosaic, and paste it right on there. Now, this photo needs to be slightly transparent. So if you click Format Options and Adjustments, you'll want to up the transparency. If once you put it onto the face, it's too transparent, you can always make the transparency a little bit farther down. If the color is bad for you, like maybe red is not a good color for you, you could choose a different color um, so that you can see it differently. Uh, you could also choose just black and white and those lines will be gray. Now, what you're going to want to do is line up, I like to line up the eyes of the Google Drawing photo with this planes of the face. But you can see the top of my head does not match the top of the head of this person. So I am just going to pull the corners out and adjust the size of this image until it fits my face. So I'm just gonna make some shifts, some rotations. I am going to make it taller. Um, some of you might have to make it a little wider or narrower. You're always going to be basing it off of the eyes and the center line so that everything lines up. Just make sure that it lines up at the top of your head as well as the bottom of your chin. So just make the adjustments that you need. It might not be perfect. You're trying to get it close. Okay, the ears don't match up, but that's okay. I can um, take a look at the ears later. My ears are a little bit narrower than what's here, um, but the chin lines up almost. I'm making a funny face, so it's exaggerated, and some of my features are not in the right spots, but most of them are. So I can use this to help me fill in the space. So in the area of my forehead, I can make my polyline shapes inside this triangle. So I will start inside the triangle and then make sure that's the value that I need with no line. And then I will add another triangle or shape, making sure that I'm staying within each of these spaces. Once I have this space done, I'll fill in this space with small sections and this space and this space but I am not drawing across any of these lines because that's going to completely destroy the whole understanding of having planes of the face. You will just have random shapes. So if you're doing a portrait, this would probably be the best way to fill in your shape so that you get something that looks like our example. And you can see in our example, I have the planes of the face here you can see the edges of each of those shapes. You can see the triangles in the forehead and how I did not cross that center line. As you're working through, you might find that you need to make some adjustments, like I had to shift the image over when I was doing the eyes versus where it was in the forehead. So you might need to make some adjustments to where everything goes, um, but it's pretty much going to be what you have here. Now, if you have a side view, you can use a side view 
This is a pretty exaggerated three quarters view, but you could use something like that. Um, those of you who don't have a plane of the face um, or an image that matches up with these planes of the face, you might want to find your own, or you might just want to think about the planes of the face here um, as you're creating your shapes.